Hi and welcome again to digitalcameratutorials.com. In this tutorial I'm going to go through Photo Story 3 and show you how to put text onto your photos. The previous basic one I just showed you how to import the photos. So we open up Photo Story and we're going to begin a new story like before. So we go next to that. We're going to import some pictures and it'll open up a dialog window asking me what pictures do I want to import. Again, I'm going to go to the camera phone folder, which it opens, and the Rome folder, because that's the last folder that I was in. So I'm going to import the same photos I had before, and I'm going to go OK to that. It imports them and throws them in on a timeline here. Now, what I want to do is to put text on each of these pictures. So what I'm going to do now, I've imported the pictures, I'm going to go next, and it's going to ask me, do you want to put text on them? And I do. So for this particular picture I'm going to write uh, we arrive in Rome and you can see it puts the text right in the middle of the picture which is no good to me so I need to look at my options here I can put it on the top I can put it in the middle or I can put it on the bottom so I like to put it I think on the top there and it's not very visible being in black so I'm going to change the font color so it opens that little font box opens this dialog and you can see that I can change the color and maybe a green might be better and I might bring the font size up from 16 to 24 and see what that looks like we arrive in Rome okay font is slightly too big because it's now spreading across the page so we'll go back to maybe 20 instead we arrive in Rome okay so that's good we'll go to the next one here now this is a picture of me in front of the uh, Pieta, Michelangelo's Pieta, so I'm going to type that in, the Pieta, and again I'm going to put that above the picture, and we're going to change the font size here, and we'd like something bright, possibly yellow, and fairly big, and you can see that that's quite effective above the Pieta there, that's fine, and we'll go to the next picture. And this is St. Peter's, so we'll just type that. And again, we don't want it in the middle, we want it up the top. Change the font color. And again, this time we might go for white and see how that would look. And we'll go OK. And that looks quite effective. And we'll go to the next one, and this is the Trevi Fountain. supposedly if you throw a coin into the Trevi Fountain and you'll come back to Rome. Now we don't want it on the top this time because it's actually obscuring some of the picture so we'll put it down the bottom. Better to obscure a little bit of me than, to, than the uh, fountain itself. And we're going to look for a bright colour here. Maybe take a red and bring it up in size and we'll go OK. So there's the Trevi Fountain. This one here is the Colosseum. And we'll put that up the top again and we'll change the font size and change the font color. And finally we'll go to the last picture and this is Pompeii. And we'll put that up the top, change the font again and change the font size. There's Pompeii. And so I'm happy with that. In the next tutorial I'll show you how to add um, music and customize the motion. So we'll go next and next. We're going to save it for playback on the computer. We need to browse to find where we're going to put it. So we're going to put this, call this the Rome holiday with text. And we'll save that and next and you can see here that it has to prepare making the video. That's step one of two. Then it goes to generate the video. So it does this rather quickly. And then finally, it will say, do you want to view the story? And we'll have a quick look at it and see what that looks like. So it just goes through them here. As you can see now, the motion part of this is gone, so really what we have now is just a slideshow fading in and out. By adding the text, we have removed our motion. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add in the motion, or how to customize your motion. So we close that up, and we want to exit from this. It asks me, do I want to save the project? Now, I want to be able to edit this project 
later. So I'm going to go yes. And it says, where do you want to put it? Now I want to put it into the my documents, my pictures, find the camera phone, find Rome, and we're going to call this the Rome project. Now I've already created the video. This is say I've, I've called it a project here. I should call it Rome project. And we're going to save that. This will allow me to edit it later. So that's all saved. So I can now come back and edit that when I want to put in the motion, as I will in the next tutorial, and I want to put music on it, which I'll do in a separate tutorial. Okay, digitalcameratutorials.com.